Okay, on this part of the program, we're going to be talking to a very beautiful and talented lady with us, Heads Up Midtown, Miss Teresa Tomlinson. Good to have you with us well, again today. Well, thank you. It's great to be here. My friend, how have you been doing? I've been doing great. We've been busy in Midtown. I know I that's right. Tell us do. about Midtown, all the yeah, great things you do, yeah. and I, you're changing the flow. I love that intersection. Isn't that? And, and that's that, just that the tip of the iceberg. Yes, but yes. you know what that intersection shows us is that we can actually use the tax dollars that are going to improve our neighborhoods and or, or to improve our streets that's and right. also use them to improve our neighborhoods. That's right. See, that's, it doesn't have to just be about the cars. Right. I mean, we want to get our cars through to where they're going. There's no mm -hmm. doubt about that. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have to be ugly. It doesn't have to tear apart our property values and our, our retail shops and all that. That's that. right. And that's what that intersection at Brown and Peacock and Winton Road shows that's right. you. That's right. Yeah, and we're going to be taking that through to Hilton Avenue, six Hilton blocks. Hilton Avenue. And, six and blocks. it should work. That's a beautiful yeah. area, isn't it? That's yeah. wonderful and beautiful. It really is. You're going to see people uh, walking up and down the road again. Well, how, so, how did all this come together? How, yeah. How, how did, tell me about Midtown. Well, I'll tell you, Midtown. Your mission, you, it's a nonprofit. It's and a nonprofit. Uh, tell us about how it works. Yeah. Well, it just came about basically in 2001. There were right. just a lot of residents and business owners that became concerned that we were losing population. We were losing businesses. We're mm -hmm. going up north. We couldn't figure out what the problem was, and so we got together with the Department of Community Affairs, some people who knew a lot more than we did. There were about 50 residents that were concerned, and we decided we needed a renewal organization. So Midtown came about. It's a nonprofit entity, and we work with the city, sometimes with the state, and property owners to bring investment back to mm -hmm. this area, uh, shops and restaurants, uh, to also improve the infrastructure, mm -hmm. make sure we get our fair share of the money that's going out for the infrastructure in the community, and also to help build up neighborhoods. That's right. So we can make sure we can sustain those neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. We help um, build neighborhood associations. Right. What does reclaiming captains? come into the picture on that? Uh, you know, yeah. if uh, you got a a blighted area. Yeah. How does that? How do you coordinate with people doing that edge? Well, that a couple of, of things. When you have to be very careful because one thing that makes um, Midtown so special is that it has a great character and heritage. Right. And right. you can't go running people out just because they're lower income or just, and you talked about gentrification right, uh, right, earlier before right, we went on the air. Right. And that, of course, some people think that has a good meaning. Some people think it has a very bad right. meaning because what it can do is run populations out. So you have to be very careful about getting the right kind of investment in that enhances what Stabilize. you have and stabilizes right. and don't, does not run people out right. because that's what gives you your character of your in-town community. How do you allay those fears of people who yeah. think you're going to run me out of my home? Yeah. Yeah, most, mostly them. through the neighborhood yeah. associations, yes. the meetings, explaining to them how it works. By helping them garner support with a really strong neighborhood association, they can respond politically, that's which right. you're very well that's, aware of, right. because the word gets out quick. Something's going on. Yeah. We can get the word to the president of the neighborhood association. He gets it out to the street captains. They can assemble. Uh, they can organize. They can petition the local government. And if they don't like it, then you, they, when they you show up, about when you show up before city council and say hello, my name is Mr. Jones and I represent 300 households in the X neighborhood. They're going to listen to what listen. comes after that. They're going to listen. Yeah. Tell us about yourself personally, yeah. your background. Uh, yeah. You a Georgia lady? Yeah, I, I was born and raised in Atlanta. I came here about 16 years ago, and I knew the minute I was here, it was supposed to be temporary. You knew. And I knew the minute I got here that this was, that, that you guys had no idea what you had. This because is it. Atlanta had spent so much time destroying what yeah. Columbus has, you know, that sense of community. That's right. And, and just that neighborhood feel in all different kinds of neighborhoods, not just uptown and midtown, but all over Columbus. And there's just a really a, a tight sense of community. And I loved it from the minute I got here. I, I did. I came here in yeah. 72. Yeah. I saw, I say, look, beautiful people. They care about you. They speak to you. Yeah. And in some parts of Atlanta now, you get the look when you speak to yeah, people. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> what, is, what does he want? You know? Well, Atlanta spent hundreds of millions of dollars tearing apart some of their in-town communities, those that gave it a lot of character. And now they're spending hundreds of millions of dollars trying to build them back. That's right. And I always thought, wouldn't it be great if we just cut out the middle guy and didn't spend any hundreds of millions of dollars tearing it apart so we had to build it back you know that's right if we that's could right. enhance what we yeah. had that's so that what we have that's so good and that's what midtown's trying you to know do. something that yeah. i i was very impressed with there was a gentleman you brought here uh perhaps three or four months maybe yes. longer yes uh -huh. and he made me so aware of what we did to detroit we being yes. americans yes. you know a great american city now 
just you could see the blight. People laying on yeah. the sidewalk, and how, how do you because how to tell us about the road? Not thinking ahead, and that's one of my biggest concerns for Columbus right now is how we're using our land yeah. because land was cheap. And so we would build and we would use our neighborhoods, our schools, our, and then we would build out another ring. And yeah. we use that infrastructure and those houses, and then we build out another and ring. And leave them. And leave behind yeah. all uh. the uh, vacant, abandoned, and that's exactly what they did oh, in Detroit. They left that center core, and with nobody going back in there, it just turned into, you know, a, a disastrous where a lot of crime comes, where you have bro broken windows, right. abandoned properties. Right. Uh, you know, it's just a, a safe haven for illicit activity. You really have to bring families back into these in-town communities. And you do it through your midtown. Yeah, the type yeah. of the type of techniques we use to um, help sustain the communities, build up the neighborhoods, but also bring investment back. That's right. Now, how yeah. do you how do you get the investment to come back in and yeah. say, look, this is a beautiful look at this place. This is a beautiful building. Yeah. Don't tear it down. Utilize yeah. it. Yeah. Rebuild just, it. Just like that, we're nonprofit brokers in a sense. Yeah. We know who we want to go after. Yeah. Who, who uh, would uh, accent the the community, this particular community, and we go out, we get them, we can show them the numbers, why they'll make money if they come here, and why they need to be here. That's right. And we yeah. sell it to them. And yeah. you can do that for any part of Columbus. It's really a model that fits not just in Midtown, but in South Columbus, they could use the same model. In Uptown, they've used the same model. But, you know, we have to start worrying about where will Midland be in 25 years. That's right. Where we're, You know, people don't like to think about that because... We're out there now, and we think we've got plenty of space, but 25 years is a long time. That's right. And it's a lot of land usage, and we can't keep moving out and out and out to the Harris counties, the Russell counties, because we're losing our population right. in that sense. Uh, if, if we had more time, I want to talk yeah. to you about your business, new business ventures. You yeah, with the Butler's Pantry. Yep. That is amazing. Yeah, we're man. going to um, grocery stores. Uh, we'll start regionally in, in grocery stores with some of our uh, prepared frozen foods. So it's very exciting for us to that go is. from a little... You know, Columbus Deli to being in the grocery store. So but that, that goes soon. back to your urge when you saw Columbus, you said, I want to stay here. Yeah. This is it. Yeah, that, that, it that is. is a lot of character. Yeah. Love Teresa Thompson. Thank you.